Straight talk here only. Straight talk here only. Straight talk here only. Thank you for coming today. Like we had a choice. Shut up, Andrew. Don't tell me to shut up. Don't talk trash. Okay, okay, settle down. I want us to have a positive and productive group today. We've been meeting like this for almost a year, and I must say, I don't feel like we've made very much progress. Let's try to have a good session today. And for heaven's sake, let's try not to say anything about last year's Cassidy game. I said, let's not focus on that. Now, who would like to share today? Anyone? Sean, do you have something to share? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Well, it's just, I've been having these dreams. What kind of dreams? Bad dreams? Yeah, really bad dreams, like last night. I'm running for student council president, and I'm giving my speech to everyone in the school. Things are going well, and everyone seems to be responding well to what I'm saying. Therefore, I believe there's no reason we shouldn't be allowed water on the carpet. They really love me, just as I'm sure I've got the whole thing locked in. It happens. <laughs> I'm frozen. I don't know what to do. I duck behind the doors and I see him. I run after him. I run as fast as I can. Give me back my clothes! Never win again. <laughs> I couldn't go back to sleep. I don't know if I ever will. Sean, it was just a bad dream. The obvious byproduct of guilt. Or not enough fiber in your diet. Maybe so, but... These are not my underpants! Settle down. Settle down. Take a seat, Sean, and close up there. Now, does anyone else have anything to share? I'd like to share, Miss Nichols. Go ahead, Graham. When I went to sleep the other night, it was just like any other night. We had a tough practice that day, so it didn't take me long to fall asleep. Suddenly, I got the feeling that something wasn't right. I woke up, but there was nothing there. Still, I could feel the evil in the room. Never win. Well, Graham, that was a bad dream, but it doesn't mean anything. Why don't we move on? I had a dream like that. Oh, dear. It's from when I was a baby. I'm in my nursery. My mom and dad are there. Oh. Hey, Billy. You're so cute. I love you, my little munchkin. You be a good boy, and we'll be back before you wake up. <laughs> Now don't feed him any more than I've set out on the counter for dinner. I mean, look at him. He's huge. Okay, son. You hold on to this ball, and we'll throw it around tomorrow morning. I love you, Munchkin. There's this man. He's supposed to be my babysitter, but... Hello, little boy. Ready for your dinner? <laughs> He scoops me up <laughs> and he kidnaps me. 
I'm so scared. I try to scream for help, but I don't know how. He sets me down, and for a moment, I think I'm safe. But I was so wrong. Never win again. <laughs> when I woke up, I was holding a rattle. Are you wearing a diaper? No. Under your robe? Absolutely not. You're wearing a diaper. Leave me alone. Oh my god. I have control issues. Gentlemen, please. Wait. I had a dream too. I was at the movies with my girlfriend. And my other girlfriend. <laughs> then, all of a sudden. Never win again. Ah! Ah! I had a horrible dream too with the same guy. It's Monday morning. We had just won the catch the game and I scored the winning touchdown. This won't hurt one little bit. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. When I woke up, I was singing this song. Like a nursery rhyme. One, two, Eddie's coming for you. Three, four, never gonna score. Five, six, lousy passes and kicks. Seven, eight, he won't be late. Nine, ten, never win. We've all been having these nightmares, and it's always the same guy. Who is he? I don't know. I don't know. I know who he is. Mr. Alley! That's right. It's me. Where did you come from? I've been here the whole time, and I've heard all of your nightmares. I know who he is. The man who's haunting your dreams. Who is he? His name is Eddie Booger. Eddie Booger? Booger. Booger? Booger! Anyway, Eddie was a, a Cassidy student many, many years ago. He always wanted to play for Heritage Hall, but he never passed the entrance exam, so he had to go to Cassidy. He vowed that if he couldn't join us, he would beat us. Every year, he'd work real hard like a dog before the big game, but back in those days, we had a winning streak, and he never had a chance to beat the Chargers. He even failed his senior year on purpose so that he had another year of eligibility to beat us. Wait, how did he get around the OSSA bylaws regulating academic eligibility? Nip it, Butters. Anyway, Eddie Booger never led the Cyclones to victory over the Chargers. And on his deathbed, he vowed revenge. Now he's the guy that's in your nightmares. He's sapping your will so that the Cyclones can take you out. Wow. That is a lot of exposition. I know. So what do we do? How do we defeat this Eddie Booger? You gotta beat him at his own game. On the field and in your dreams. But we can't. He's so powerful and none of us can take him. Not individually, no. But as a team, you've got a fighting chance. Wait. How do we all end up in the same dream together? together. There is a way. What is that? Andrew, quit hogging all the covers. 
Guys, shut up and go to sleep. Next time we should really consider sleeping bags. Here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like 